In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Xenia set up on the Xbox Series X and S. Sir Mangler is working some incredible magic and has ported the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia over to UWP so that way it now runs on Xbox Series X and S. And while this is obviously a very beta release, again, no UI for this one so far, it is really cool to see it in action. Not everything works, it's still kind of buggy as to be expected from a beta release, but if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of setup required for this one. So let's just kind of go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, you're going to need to decide if you want to set this up for dev mode or retail mode. I'm going to be showing off dev mode here first before kind of discussing retail mode. I'm just going to be discussing the steps involved with retail mode rather than recording it. So do be aware of that. But anyway, if you have yet to get dev mode installed on your Xbox Series X or S, link in the description below will take you to my RetroArch setup guide which will take you through all the steps needed to get signed up for dev mode. And once you get that set up and ready to go, you can continue along with this video. Next, you're gonna need to download the Xenia for UWP release. And again, this is an early beta, so there are a number of things that are just not going to work right. There will be games that crash randomly, and if a game requires OS level input, it's not going to work. So do be aware of those before diving in, but just go ahead and grab the latest release. Now over on your Xbox, get it booted up into dev mode and make note of your remote access IP address. Now back over on your computer, go ahead and get that address input. And if you get a connection isn't private error, just click on advanced and tell it to continue anyway. And then from here, enter your username and password so you can be brought to the Xbox device portal. And now we're gonna go ahead and get Xenia installed. So just click on add, choose file, Navigate to where your Xenia app X package is stored or just drag the file into the um, installer here. Doesn't matter, either way works. And then just click next. There's no dependencies for this one, so then just click on start. And there we go, Xenia is now installed. And now that Xenia has been installed, there's one more thing we need to do and that is change its UWP app type from an app to a game. So by clicking on the menu button, view button, whatever it's called, the back button. Go down to view details, select UWP app, and change it to game. And I always like to restart the Xbox after doing this. It's probably not necessary, but it's a Series X and S, so it restarts quick, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. And with that reboot complete, you can confirm that the app type is still set to game, and there we go, that is now ready to go. So now if you are interested in a retail install, you're going to need to join the Gamer13 Discord and wait for them to post the links. They post them about once a week, so you're just going to have to wait for those links to go live, and then you just click on it, it adds it to your Microsoft account, then you can download it to your Xbox. So just type in Gamer13 GitHub, bring you to this page, and then you can join the Discord. Now regardless if you chose to use dev mode or retail mode, you are going to need a USB drive formatted into NTFS with proper security permissions set. So if you've done this in a prior tutorial of mine, you don't need to do it again, but if you have yet to do this, it is very important, otherwise you'll end up with more black screens, things not loading, things like that. So you want to make sure it's NTFS with security permissions set. Now the easiest way to make sure that you have all this stuff set is to use the Xbox Media USB tool from Zven GDK. This is available on ARM and Windows devices, so you could do it on either one, but you can just go ahead and get the tool downloaded. And once downloaded, just get it extracted. It's in zip format, so you should be able to use pretty much everything. And inside the folder, you'll see Xbox Media USB and then Xbox Media USB executable. So when you launch this, there's two options to choose from. So you can start an entire new drive if you want to. So you just select your USB drive from the drop down menu here. And make sure you select your proper drive and don't format one of your other drives, please. If you delete your stuff, that's on you. But then you can click on start, it will format it to NTFS, create a bunch of um, default folders for you to use. And it's very simple. If you already have a drive in NTFS and just need to set the security permissions, you can select your drive from the drop down menu here and click add permissions to selected drives. I already had mine set, so it's going to throw up an error. So no worries there. So download will be in the description below the link to the GitHub 
and this is just the easiest way to get your Xbox USB drive all set up and ready to go. And with that out of the way, we just need to source some Xbox 360 games. So there's a number of ways to rip your own discs from your Xbox if it's modded or if you have some old uh, executor drive tools. You can actually hook an Xbox 360 DVD drive up to your computer and rip games with that. Or, you know, resort to the Googles and do things that way. I really don't care how you do it. Just, um, as always, we're not providing illegal download links on this uh, channel. So there we go. So there's a number of different formats that Xbox 360 games can be stored in. So there is extracted format, which is like this. All the files are just here. And then there's Xbox Live Arcade and Games on Demand files. And they're just a bunch of friggin' numbers, typically. So those are going to be your two main ones. Then there's also ISO files. Now, unfortunately, with this release of Xenia, ISO files are not supported by it. So you have to extract them to get them to run. So if you need to extract your Xbox 360 games, you can get Extract ISO Win32 from uh, the GitHub page here from Xbox Dev. Link will be in the description below, but just get this downloaded and then just get it extracted as well. And inside you'll see extract-xiso.exe. So just go ahead and drag this into your Xbox 360 game folder. And now just drag your games in one at a time, so that way they get extracted and are ready to go for Xenia. Do be aware, if you try to drag them all in at once, it'll create subfolders for each individual game within the next game in line, so it's better to do these one at a time, otherwise it just uh, becomes kind of a headache to figure out where your games are. But there we go, now all of my games are in extracted format and ready to go, so I could just either delete the ISOs or leave them for archival purposes, doesn't really matter. But there we go, that is now my Xbox 360 games folder that I am ready to now copy over to USB. So on my USB drive I have a folder named games that I like to use, so I'm just going to drag my 360 games right on in and wait for the transfer. And with the transfer now complete, we are ready to take the USB drive out of our computer and hook it up to our Xbox. So over on your Xbox, get your USB drive plugged back in. And if this is the first time you've hooked a USB drive up to your Xbox, it'll ask you if you want to have it set up as game or media storage. Choose media. Otherwise, everything you put on it will be deleted. But from here, go ahead and launch into Xenia. And as you can see, it is a basic file explorer again, just like the first beta of Dolphin. So just scroll down to USB, navigate to where your 360 games are stored. And to play a game, all you need to do is go into its folder and find the default.xex. You won't see the extensions inside the file browser, so just look for the file named default and then just press A to run it. And there we go, Xbox 360 emulation up and running on the Xbox Series X and S. So now that you have Xbox 360 emulation up and running on your Xbox Series X and S, do be aware that performance is going to be a bit hit and miss in the early builds. But it's still really cool to see. Eternal Sonata here is a game that didn't actually make it into the backwards compatibility program. So the overworld struggles a bit, but inside the battles it's actually really playable. So as you can see, it's just looking really nice. The sound quality is pretty nice. There are a few graphical glitches here and there, but overall, I'd say it's pretty playable. Now that being said, some games are going to suffer from more glitches than others, but again, the overworld you can see here is running at relatively low FPS so far. And now just another quick example of loading up a game here. If you go to load up an Xbox Live Arcade or a Games on Demand file, you just select the file and it should automatically load up. Might take it a little bit, but just give it a give it a bit of uh, time there and it should load up eventually. So Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection here. And all of your games should be unlocked by default if I remember how Xenia is supposed to work. So it makes it really nice and simple. 
But there we go, some uh, Xbox Live Arcade uh, stuff going on here. I suck at Mortal Kombat. So again, as cool as this is, it isn't without issues. As you can see in Ace Combat 6 here, the ground has a number of missing textures. Shader compilation stutter is pretty uh, noticeable. And then the game will crash every now and then as well. But overall, still pretty cool to see and definitely a fun thing to mess around with. But that's going to do it for getting Xenia set up on your Xbox Series X and S. Again, fairly straightforward. You just install it, put games on USB, and enjoy. Again, it is still an early beta, so there's a lot of crashes and things that aren't going to quite work right. So do be aware of that before diving in. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. Hope you find it informative and it helps you get your 360 emulation projects up and running on your Xbox Series X and S. As best as they can, that is. But here at the end, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, depending on how much you like this tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are amazing. Thank you so much. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.